We want to send a message to President Biden that it is time to phase out fossil fuels. It is time to declare a climate emergency and it is time to expense funds into communities that are disproportionately impacted by the decisions that are made by government. In New Orleans, we are coming together as frontline folks from along the Gulf Coast to say that we are not your sacrifice. Our children are dying from asthma and cancer. Our elders are dying because we're breathing in toxic air, drinking unclean water. We have more than 12 petrochemical facilities, three LNG facilities, and we have this big spaghetti bowl of pipeline already in this area that's low income, uh, more than um, 46% black. In the last several years, the United States has become the largest exporter of methane gas in the world. Methane gas, like all fossil fuel pollution, has significant health impact on black, indigenous, and people of color community. I'm doing this because I am a mom. I have six children. Some of my children have asthma. Some of them have eczema. I also have a grandbaby. We're no longer talking about generations far away. The people we're trying to save, the generations we're trying to save are here now. We may not see the rewards of our labor in our time, but if we empower and educate the youth that we're saving this world for now, they will be the leaders of tomorrow who will continue to tell our story and continue to fight. We are also going to be showing the world why we fight for this place, why we call this place home, why we love the Gulf Coast. We're going to be showing our culture here, some great music, some second line dancing. If you all have ever heard of New Orleans and you want to come here because of Mardi Gras, because of the festivals, that is the experience you're going to get. Know that we are in this together and we look forward to seeing some of you in the wonderful city of New Orleans celebrating, but also standing up to say it is time to phase out fossil fuels and it is time to help these communities to thrive.